Divine Divinity with me, Squawker. And when we left off, we had travel to the distance, met a very strange looking dog, and also resolved a some sort of weird property dispute where, well, basically someone was mouthing off really badly, like she was like council estate level mouthing off, so um, I told her to fuck off and got 2000 XP for it. So now what we're up to is, well, we've got one last quest to do in the distance before we head back down to Ars Megania and to continue doing the other things we're doing, but... We're going to talk to Malcolm and see, well, why he's been stealing money from a poor woman in Rivertown. So, let's hope this doesn't end badly for me. Hello, Malcolm! I'm just walking to your house and you're not in. Wow, that's bloody rude. Let's see if he's in here. Unless I just investigate. Oh, is that... No, that's not him. I'll steal his blankets. I can't use that. You can't use a blanket. <gasps> ha This may be what I want. This book appears to contain the financial records of Merchant's Guild. Someone has written some additional text besides some numbers explaining how he used several tricks. Ha <laughs> ha! I have the evidence. Now, are we going to steal it or are we going to steal a sash and a dagger? No. Brian. I wish to borrow. No. Brian. Put in inventory. Right. Brian. We'll, we'll fucking throw it somewhere then. Right. Either way, let's just check the details of a quest because let's uh So yeah. We need to find out why Malcolm's been stealing. Uh Malcolm's been stealing for much skill. Perhaps we should go and find out we have found out more about this. We have actually just literally gone and found that book. But I'm guessing I'm maybe doing the quest in a backwards order. Either way, right. Where can I put that? I mean, the thing is, Brian will state that stupid book as well, and I've just gone and dropped this right. Brian, put the book back up there, then, if you want, and then we'll we'll make it look like we were never here. But we know, we know, we know where to look now. So we don't have an invitation to Merchant Scale, so we'll probably get like like physically assault. Shut up, dog! Oh, thank you, dog, for just breaking into that castle for me. I'll just let myself in. Um, right. Just so you know, dogs are master thieves. Right, um... So where I want to go now, actually, is... I want to head up to the merchant skill. Perhaps they will know something, so it's just going up that way. Uh, what's up in here? Maybe I'll get attacked here as well. It's a very nice-looking house, actually. Wait, why am I going to other people's property? Well, it's because I'm really, really shitty, aren't I? But no. I want to go and speak to the merchant skill today. And I can go and rat out Malcolm as a thief. And also if I can find a blacksmith on my way, that would be fantastic. Since I went and sold my armour because... No, Brian! Why are, we, why are we physically assaulting rats? Come on, Brian. That was really shitty of you. It was barely worth any XP anyway. Right, anyway. We'll just follow the road. Try not to get... Um, you know, tasked upon, but some people, some people just invite themselves to conversation in this game, which is not always, ooh, frogs, but are those frogs? Yes, we are frogs. Brian, we're not going to murder frogs today. I don't like frogs, I think they're fucking freaks of nature, but we're not going to do that, are we, right? And I think we've strayed too far away, right? Brian, we'll, actually, no, we might be able to go through there and loop back around on ourselves. This, this is quite, quite the town, quite the town to get lost in, isn't it? But no, I think, I think this is just someone's big old mansion estate thing that I've just basically invited myself into. Well, I didn't invite myself in. That dog just seems to have the power of a battering ram and just basically barreled the gates down. So, um, bad dog. Anyway, we should, uh, we should leave before I do get told off for being in someone else's property. So, um, yeah, see you later, dog. We're just going to pretend that no one was, um... I'm just going to pretend that I was never here, so, um... But I think the dog wants to live there now, so... I guess we could let the dog live there. Right, and yeah, whatever. Right, the dog's prevent me from closing the gate, so that's my excuse, right? We'll just leave. I wish to go and speak to the Merchant's Guild, so I'm guess. Oh, God, not another task. Please, stranger, can you spare some gold? My mother is ill and my father has no work and I'm so hungry. Oh, it's just a beggar. Right, so we can say, sorry, we have no gold. Be gone, beggar. Or give it ten gold pieces. Ah, oh, I'm nice. You poor child. Here's ten gold pieces. Take it home to your mother so she can buy some food. Heh, everyone. Alright, hey everyone, this sucker fell for it and gave me... Right. 
Oh, fuck. Shit, no, I'm being mobbed by children. Go away. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Stop mocking me. I... Uh, why am I being mocked by... Guards, can you stop me from being mocked by children? Please, stranger, I haven't eaten for days. Be gone. Oh, fuck's it. Brian, why have we started a kiddie train? Oh, they've all gone now at least, right. Hopefully they will never return because that was just bloody weird. Uh, I'm too nice. I am too nice. Right, anyway, this building looks like it might be the Merchant Guild. Maybe where, maybe where all those bloody punk kids are actually, right. So, let's see, I suspect the entrance will be here. Yeah, yeah. This, this looks merchant guildy. Verdistus Merchant's Guild. Brilliant. Right, in we go. I've I've got to drop this bomb on them and say that look, dude, you're being robbed. Hello, wealthy citizen. Good evening. Please do not delay me unnecessarily. I have a dinner appointment very soon. Uh, okay. I don't think he's doing, ah, it's just wealthy citizens, right? So, I want to speak to like a guild master. Is there a guild master around here? I, I hope I'm not going to get beaten up for my presence. But again, these people are wealth. Oh, wait, actually, I say they're wealth. Oh, God, look at all that food. Not for Brian, no. Not for Brian. We're not rich enough yet. We'll be rich one day, though. I'm just going to go in and open all the doors because that is what I do. I just want to find someone to talk to. Someone who may be able to help me bust this mystery wide open and work out, you know, why, you know, you guys are being robbed. I know you guys are losing money. Well, this is a... Hello, fellow. What do you want of me? Hello, noble citizen. Is there any news we did support my tickets to see? I don't like the reports of orcs gathering in the south and their attacks near Alaroth. Yeah, we know. A lot of people seem to rent shit out near Alaroth, don't they? Uh, no. What we need is evidence. Like, manuscripts. Ah, or Yarun. Hello, Yarun. A greeting. What can I do for you all? What can you tell me about the Merchants Guild? This is a Merchants Guild. It's an organization that inspects and regulates trade. It's a place where merchants gather to perform business matters. Hmm. Well, what is it you do here? Hmm. <laughs> Since you are clearly no merchant, I could ask you in turn what you are doing here. But alright, I'm in a good mood today. I am the archives archivist for the Merchants Guild. It's my responsibility to keep a record of all things handled by the guild so we can check things again at a later time. Now, is there anything I could do for you? Who are you? I am Yarun. What can you tell me about Vedustus? Vedustus is a great city and home to the Merchants Guild. Many merchants come here to trade. Right, well, it, 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 this doesn't tell me where Malcolm is. I'm just going to steal manuscripts, or at least, you know. The Merchant and the Apple Tree. Alright, so these are stories. Military essays. Hmm. How am I going to tell this guy that he's being robbed blind? Maybe I should just throw the book at him. Like, quite literally. But Brian's a fucking wuss and won't steal books from people, so... I'm not quite seeing how this quest is going to work. Hello, guard. Uh, no. Right. Let's find a blacksmith, because I want to find a blacksmith and hopefully not get mobbed by more poor children who are just fucking, like, stealing from me now. There must be a smithy somewhere. I mean, there are guards and Commander Kratos. No, this must be guard territory then. Not interested. Not interested in the slightest. All I am sitting on is hot evidence that could expose Malcolm as a dirty thief. I wonder if... There's no one to talk to birds and work out where this Malcolm fellow is. I mean, we've been to his house. Maybe if I come back a little later, he'll be there or something. Maybe he just, I don't know, goes for a walk or something. I'll just have to inspect every last bloody citizen and say, look, I know where Malcolm is or who is Malcolm. Leptine's mark. Sounds good enough to me. Leptine may have up armor. Hello, Leptine. Welcome to the general store. I'm Leptine, the owner of the shop. Please browse around. I have items and wares from all parts of Rebellion. Wait. Have you any armor? You have not. I'm not bothered then. See you later. I want to speak to someone who sells arms and armor. But that does not seem to be the case in the, in the distance. Well, this is still a very nice city, I must say. 
I would like to live here, maybe. But for now, my goal is find someone who can sell me some armor. Because I'm not going back into the wild without any. But it's looking like that may be the case. Hmm. Also, I don't know where I've wandered off to now, by the way. I think we're just wandering off into frog country because there's... Why is there a swamp in the distance with many, many frogs? Perhaps I'm supposed to start making out with them. Oh well, I don't think I will. Right, ooh, also plenty of boulders. And cats! They're millions of cats, actually. It's a fucking cattery. Right, well, I'm not interested in running a cattery today. I am more interested in, um... Aha, maybe this door. Pierce is oh no, bees! Now. No, no, no. Oh, no. Go away. I don't want to magic food out of thin air. I want to... All right, the bees have run off. Good. Let's just, just quickly eat some food then because, yeah, that was annoying. I mean, even in the distance, we're not safe. We still get basically assaulted by bees. But no, I don't want to go to a place called the Wine Barrel. I mean, wine sounds nice, but um, what I want to do is I want to have the ability to purchase some better armor. I can still hear cats everywhere. It's just catarama. Right. What buildings have we not explored yet in the distance? I mean, there are still many buildings to explore, I'm guessing. But none of that seem to give me what I want. This Malcolm fellow seems to be very slippery, and also this is like an abandoned house. I can move into here, maybe. You know, set myself up a bed or break into someone's hatch. No, that isn't going to work, is it? Hmm. Either way, I just, I just need to purchase some armor off someone. It will happen at some point, I know. I oh, can speak to Owen. Owen, do you know a Malcolm, maybe? If you've ever considered a warrior's life, I recommend you apply whatever talents you have into service of a high-ranking noble family. The Ducal Army doesn't pay regular soldiers very well. Well, if you're talking about... Oh, you don't have... Right, no. I'm not buying cheese off you. Whatever. Thanks for letting me into your house, by the way. Uh, yeah, it seems like no one around here has access to the wares I seek. Those wares being armor. Oh, we go... Ah, I welcome you, custom friend. Browse my wares I have collected from regions all around Rebellion. Great, we're being hawked now. All right, what do you have? Well, you have many things, such as another cat statue. No, what I want is armor or a spider's shield. Hmm. This guy actually has a lot of dull stuff. Wrecked chest plate, but we don't have enough uh, power for that. A old chest plate once, but we don't have the strength. Could get uh, spider chain boots, though, which are very expensive. No. Uh, unfortunately, my friend, you don't have what I what I seek. Mpenzak. You've got books, though, but yeah. He's not the man I am looking for. And it seems that there is nowhere to buy additional armor. Unless, like, maybe that friendly tour guidey fella may be able to help me. If he was somewhere around here. Where are you, citizen, citizen? There he is, Marek. Lost again, my friend. Frustrating, is it not? This city is a large and confusing place. Let me see if I can help you get to your bearings. I wish to buy supplies and equipment. You should make your way to the general store. Lepting the shopkeeper is a very honest man. He has goods from all over Rebellion. The store is right next to a Ducal Hill. Let me mark it on your map for you. Alright, that doesn't help me. Um, I wanted to buy armor, but Leptis did not have that for me. Right. Looks like I'm running out of things to do here for this minute in time. Unless I can let myself in here as well. Yes, I can. I guess security is just something people don't worry about in this land. Uh, but then there's probably nothing of interest to me. I mean, a point, like, I mean, uh, a blacksmith hasn't rocked up and started his business here. Instead, there's actually a very, very large roof. Okay. What be this building then? I want to know. I am curious. I think it's got a sign. Oh, it's got a lantern. I don't care about lanterns. I just care about signs. I want to know what this building is as I fill in my map with luscious, lusciousness. Right. What be this building? I'm just going to let myself in once more, and... Uh, it looks very nice, actually. Very nice. 
I probably shouldn't be Xbox, I know, I'm just probably gonna walk into- Ah, Sir Patrick. Well, much stranger, I'm Sir Patrick, a loyal banker renowned for my low interest rate loans. You will not find better deals than this town, so if you're in the mood for financial help, I am the answer to all your troubles. Are you in need of cash by any chance? Hmm. I don't really want to do money lending. I mean, you appear to be rich, by the way, Sir Patrick. I am the richest person in the town, though I can often be more of a burden than a blessing. Alright. Wealth a burden? How so? Wealth attracts envy and plenty of enemies, my friend. There are a lot of people in this town that would like to see me ruined. Why well, said recently that Sir Dam Dante has been a thorn in my side for some time. Right, well, I don't want to help you because that means more work. And I've got enough work because I'm trying to find this bloody Malcolm fellow who has Malcolmed away. So, um... You know, good luck with whatever it is you're doing, but for now, what I'm doing is trying to work out where this fucking Malcolm dude is chilling. Let's uh, head back to his house, head back to the scene of a crime. I mean, we know that Malcolm is fucking stealing, but because Brian just has the least sticky fingers in the world, he won't just take that book and take it to a town guard and say, right, busted dude. We know that Malcolm's nicking, but yeah. Brian has to be Mr. Nice and Mr. Perfect and Mr. I just don't want to cause a fuss, so that's why we are at the square we find ourselves on. Still, it's nice to explore this place, I will say, and oh great, even more rats. Rats, 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 they're just a fact of life in this land, aren't they? Really big fact of life, as well as another house, but I don't care about this house. Ooh, many beehives as well. Where is Malcolm? Oh, can I just let myself... I, I just like it. I just like it. Oh, hello, Robert. Uh, sorry, I'm like, oh, wow, you got a big pile of shit I'm in I'm not able garden. to use that. Yeah, I wouldn't use a pile of shit either. Right, what's this tombstone say, by the way? Maybe Malcolm died. No, nope. oh, well, grave rob him. I'll have that. Thank you. Goodbye. I like grave robbing. And I did it right in the open as well, where everyone saw me. So, um, yeah, I am, I am driving this uh, good morality thing right into the ground. But, well, whatever, right. Ah, Dargin, you're not the person I wanted. You're that other person whose house I broke into earlier. No, uh, I just want Malcolm. He's somewhere. He's just hiding from justice. That's all he's doing. Maybe I should just rob this fool blind. Like, maybe if I steal his pillow Sorry, or something. Sorry, I can't use that. Use his bed. This is no time to sleep. It's always time to sleep, right? Whatever. I want the merchant's skill financial records because, yeah. He's stealing money from the Merchant's Guild, so I don't understand why I can't steal this. I mean, what am I going to do? Fucking just throw it to the Merchant... Fuck it, I'm going to do that, actually, right? Look. Brian, we're going to take this all the way to the fucking Merchant's Guild. If, it, you know, if, if you don't want to, I'm going to do it, so... We're going to play a really painful game of Leapfrog here, and also I'm going to steal all that shit from his cupboard. I'm having that. If he's stealing, I'm stealing. And yeah, I, th I think I have just given up good morality, haven't I? But hey, the dude's a thief. Maybe, you know, I was hoping he'd, he'd psychically get his attention actually and summon him back to his abode, but it hasn't worked, so yeah. Either way, I'm taking this all the way to the Merchant's Guild house and you can't stop me. Except this video can stop me because this is going to take me ages to do this, so um, yeah, like I said, this is really like just fucking pissing in the wind what I'm doing here, so. I doubt it's going to work out, so I'll tell you what, I shall cut it here, and I will see you after I finish playing this really long game of Leapfrog. Okay, so I've got this book all the way over here now, so I'm just going to literally throw it onto his desk and maybe it'll help him. He also has an I easy chair that. that we can't use, but Yaron, Weezings, what can I do for you today? Thank you for your time, right? Look, dude, this book here shows that you've been robbed. Like, you've been robbed, my dude. Like, so... Oh, fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Look, I set the book on fire now, but look, dude, my dude. There is, like, candles as well, but look. <sighs> I don't think I'm going to get anywhere. I'm not able away. to use that. Can I look at your bookcase, by the way? You have a lightning book. I don't need that. And also, your cupboard is locked, but look, my dude. Sorry, I can't use that. I've given you that evidence there, that... You, you're being robbed blind, so please, like, do something productive with it. Maybe the guild master's in there, actually. I don't know, but no one in here, no one in this area is very helpful to me. That's all I'm going to say, really. 
Um, here's Craig and the Hermit, by the way. There's the stories of Craig and the Hermit. More magical tragedies and a key. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. I shouldn't be stealing, but... Oh, I can spin this by way. Right, that's fun. Right, um... I'm also going to throw this somewhere. There we go. I'm manipulating... Ah, hello, Trevor! Only guild members are prepared to do the most Please leave at once! Um... But I'm a new member of the guild. Can you not see my uh, reverse? We'll take my money off my money to let me copy with my my friend. We're all mostly rich here. What else do I need to become a member? Members of our guild must possess a well developed sense of haggling so they can uh, acquire the best goods of the uh, lowest and possible impact to their purses. Are you accepting applications? You speak with Malcolm, my secretary, about joining the guild. Ah, so right, he is somewhere. Alright, Malcolm. Oh, by the way, I stole your key. Uh, I don't think you got really too pissy about it. Right, Malcolm. He must be in that room, right? The door is locked. How is the door locked? I stole a key. I must have the correct key. This door is locked tighter than a dwarf's ale purse. Always with the ale purse jokes, this dude, right? Well, this Malcolm fella there must be nearby, but I'm getting sick of looking for him, right? Oh, hang on, another key. <laughs> Try and get in there now. I bet we can get in. Oh, a wooden cupboard as well. What's in this cupboard? A Bow. Right, I don't do a whole archery thing. Right, where's Susie? This, this, ah, Malcolm! I found you! <gasps> Welcome to the Merchant's Guild! Perhaps the most influential guild in all of this is. I've not seen you before in my house, so can I ask what you can do? Uh, I've been in your house already, and I've fucking stolen from you. I have that book. Um, I. A pleasant speech. May I know your name? I am Malcolm. The Honourable Secretary of this Guild. If you wish to do some business with our house, you must speak with me first. Well, I would like to know a bit more... I mean, what, what's your business? I mean, dude, I fucking know you're a thief. I'm afraid I am bound by strictest laws of our Guild not to impart such information on commoners and strangers. Well, can I murder you? Because I'd like to learn more about the history of your Merchants Guild. Very well. Many years ago, a group of merchants founded a guild where other merchants could receive financial support. This organization established the first caravan routes to the kingdoms of the dwarves and the elves. Please continue. The former duke asked the guild so quickly to build an efficient economy, so the merchants ordered a tremendous amount of gold bars from the dwarves, which were then pressed into coin immediately. And then, within a single decade, we became the most powerful organization in the dukedom. So how do I become a member of your guild? You must first have a <laughs> document that proves you have a business of a medium size in the dukedom. If you're not affiliated with a company, then you can always pay a sum of 10,000 gold coins to enter. That's a large amount. Think of the many advantages you get as a guild member. With a proper training, all shops will give you better prices. Yes, the fee is large, but I would be willing to lower the fee if you could do me a small favour. Alright, maybe if I could get myself into his inner trust, then I could work this. There is a woman called Maria living in a poor quarter of Rivertown. She has slandered the reputation of the guild for quite some time. I recently received information that Maria is planning to assassinate a member of the guild. Oh god, she was getting extreme then. What do you wish me to do with Maria? We cannot take any direct steps against Maria ourselves. If you can take care of her, then your favour of us would rise considerably. I would even waive the entrance fee to join a guild. I might seem desperate to join a guild, but I can assure you I'm no assassin. A pity I will not take any steps to deal with Maria just yet, so if you change your mind soon, please return to me. You want me to kill an innocent woman, that's all. Uh, yes. Consider it dumb, but I'm going to fucking stab you in the bank. Alright, so this quest is getting weird. Now I want to kill Maria. Um... Yeah, I feel like we're I feel like we're getting into a very, 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 very strange place. So Malcolm stole and then, you know, he's stealing, but no one fucking listens to Brian, so Brian now finds himself in a position where he's gonna go and commit murder. So next time on Let's Play Divine Divinity, because no one will fucking acknowledge this book that tells me that Malcolm's just a dirty common thief, um Yeah, we're committing murders. See you later. I, I, I've done it. I, I mean, I said we're going to be good, but now I've done it. I've corrupted Brian. It was good while it lasted.